The photograph you're looking at is of Sheikh Maktoum, the ruler of Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, a country in the, in the Middle East. And uh, his uh, estranged ex-wife, Princess Haya. And uh, the reason and this is interesting is that it's made the um, explosive uh, news of uh, the highest divorce settlement in the history totaling to some 554 million pounds, about 753 million dollars. Now, uh, the divorce numbers are very interesting. Uh, I'll go through them uh, briefly for you. Uh, I'm sure you can read it yourself. It's all over the news, so it's nothing uh, that's hard to find. But things like 251 million pounds. Now, these are all in pounds, so you have to multiply them by 1.3. Uh, and uh, whatever your currency rate in your own country is, but I'm quoting in pounds and then turned into dollars. 251.5 million pounds lump sum to be paid in three months time, which includes the cost of security over Princess Haya's lifetime. Another 290 million pounds security by HSBC guarantee to cover annual $11 million maintenance. This includes 5 million pounds budget for the two children's holidays, 1.8 million of which is for flights on private jets, $100,000 a year was allocated for a private tutor, £111,000 for a nanny and £137,000 for children's nurse. Another £35.6 million, Princess Haya's expenditure between December 2019 and December 2021, according to documents shown on the court. She has been receiving 84,000 pounds a month in interim maintenance payments. She was awarded $9.6 million in maintenance arrears. Uh, this continues another um, 95 million pounds value of the home near Kensington Palace, which Princess Haya has uh, through trust structures. She also has $4.5 million Windsor Mansion. Another £20 million awarded for Princess Haya's personal possessions, including jewelry. Now, there are other, um, other astronomical costs, such as £277,000 a year for pet costs and all other, uh, you know, extravagant travel expenses and everything. Now, a ruler of Dubai is, of course, not a normal person. He's, uh, you know, among the Gulf Arabs. Not only just a normal Gulf Arab, but he's the ruler of the one of the sheikdoms in uh, in the country of UAE. So he's got a lot of money that he never worked for. So uh, easy come, easy go. But the reason I mentioned this uh, particular uh, uh, high-profile divorce are are two reasons. Number one. Like I said before, it doesn't matter if you're digging ditches in, the, in, in, uh, in Bangladesh or I don't mean any disrespect to Bangladesh or any, any country. Uh, you're doing menial jobs for menial pay or you are the sh ruler of Dubai. Comes the, when it comes divorce time, you will be paying. Now, the most interesting part about this divorce is that this princess was discovered having an affair with her British bodyguard. So everything's completely her fault. Now, if it's an unhappy marriage and all that, fine, whatever. But she is the one who was having an affair with her British bodyguard and he still gets to pay all that money. So this is what I mean by divorces in the West. If you have any kind of assets worth mentioning, and uh, you get married in the West, then you are to blame, not the woman. Because you're putting yourself in a very vulnerable situation where a, a woman can say, I'm not happy, or uh, she decides to have an affair, or, or anything, and uh, you'd be the one uh, stuck with the bill. So keep that in mind uh, next time you're thinking of uh, getting, uh, uh, you know, into a, a, a business contract of marriage. Again, I am not against being with women. I'm absolutely for it, enjoying their companionship, whatever it is that you enjoy from them. But getting uh, married, uh, knowing the West, West's uh, divorce laws and knowing how easily it is for women to just take off 
and uh, it take off is fine. Hey, you want to go? Here's the door. But to be awarded these extravagant portions of one's assets, now whatever it is, you could be some engineer making $75,000 a year, you know, and it would be an equal portion of your uh, money and the misery that follows after that. And if you have children, forget it. Forget about a prenuptial agreements. I know people that have spent $100,000 uh, on prenuptial agreements uh, only to realize that it's absolutely uh, useless. Uh, not worth the paper is written on if you have children. So, uh, leaving you with this sobering thought. Uh, I hope uh, it's been helpful and uh, see you in the next video.